The Wanderers Sports Grounds once again played host to a killer game as Kudus, who at the time of kickoff were placed second on the log, took on Wanderers, who sat pretty in the first position. The host just took three minutes to draw first blood with a penalty conversion. However, Kudus outside centre Justin Newman found the whitewash after a chip and chase, giving Kudus a 7-3 lead. Moments later, Kudus were at it again, this time through Lok Tashias Arangis, crashing over for their second try and pushing their lead up to 12 points. Flyhalf Al Marco Biekas managed to close the deficit to just two points when he found a gap in the Kudus defense to crash over in the right hand corner for a converted try, ending the first half Wondrous 10, Kudus 12. In the second half, Wondrous once again drew first blood, this time, however, through a try, taking back the lead. The Coastal Boys stayed cool under pressure and scored their third try through fullback Lloyd Jacobs. Taking the space out wide. Oh, nice dummy there. Brilliant dummy there by Lloyd Jacobs. Flanker Darius von Solens' try put Wondrous in the lead once again. Jacobs then crossed the line for his second try of the day, leveling the scores at 22 all. By Lloyd Jacobs. With little to no room for error, Kudus gave away a penalty and Wondrous slotted it between the uprights. The boys in blue held on tight and kept pushing the Wondrous defence back, with Jacobs once again finding a gap to make it a hat-trick for him on the day, as he dove behind the post for try number three. Ending the game Wondrous 25, Kudus 29. To be honest, my guys showed character today. And I'm really proud of that. The character that they showed actually pulled the game through for us.